Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is going to be what I plan to bring with me on vacation, like the makeup portion. If I showed you everything, we would be able to go. There's just too much crap all of it has to go. So if you're not subscribed to my channel already, now's a great time to do that. I upload four videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But yeah, if you want to see what I'm up to next, just subscribe and hit the bell and choose all and YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. All right, we're going to get into it. I really tried <laughs> to throttle back on what to bring with me and I did a good job. Like if you had seen the things I brought with me in the past, you'd be like, hey, good job, you. We're proud. Um, so let's just start with the top of the pile. I've got, you should see my desk, boy howdy. So I chose out several pairs of lashes, some that I've been wearing and some new ones just to be on the safe side. And of course my little scissors because I will inevitably need those. And I only chose seven eyeshadow palettes which I know sounds like a lot, but it's really not. The first one we'll talk about is the Nomad and Malibu Surfshack palette. This is one of my favorite, really easy, basic go-to. I love these palettes. I'm taking this one and the Ensenadas because again, super easy look, or I can bump it up. I can use this with other palettes that I'm bringing with me. So I think those were two really smart ones. I'm also bringing my BH looking like a snack because, I mean, pinks. One of my dresses has a fair amount of pink in it. I thought that might be fun. Yes, I often coordinate my makeup or my eyeshadow with my clothes, but at home I'm usually wearing black and on vacation I don't wear as much black. Uh, so I'm going to bring my Home for the Holidays palette, of course. That's my favorite black and the sparkly, shimmery, metallic shades of this palette cannot be beat. So that's coming with me. I'm also going to bring the Passion in Paris by BH Cosmetics because again, so many options to choose from and play with and can be mixed and matched with the other palettes that I'm bringing. I tried to be smart about it, like what I would A, use and what would work with other palettes. So that was my goal. And then I'm going to bring the Sydney Grace Enduring Love palette because again, look at those eyeshadows. They're so pretty. And the last one I'm bringing is my Angelica Nikvist and Kaleidos palette. This has a name, Club Nebula. So this has a lot of fun colors, the shimmery metallic shades, and like everything in this is stunning. I really wanted to bring all of my Blend Bunny palettes because I thought those would be super fun, but they are a lot bigger and I am trying to be a little more conscious of what I'm bringing and how much room it's going to take up because I was hoping to only bring two suitcases. We've never done that before, not even for a short one, so um, I might just be fooling myself. We're prepared for that though. I told Mike this morning, like, I, I might need all three. I don't know. And not just like for my stuff, like we pack everything together because here's how crazy I am. I am convinced they're going to lose part of our luggage. So when I pack everything, I pack bits of everything in all the suitcases, bits of bathing suits, makeups, like everything, a little bit of everything goes in all of the suitcases, the carry on, my purse, everything gets something because I would just be horrified if we got to our vacation and had nothing to wear. Like, how bad would that be? So yeah, that's my paranoia level. Do you like, do you get with, do you get that? Or do you think, whoop, she's finally gone around the bend. Either is acceptable. I'm fine with it. It's all works. And coincidentally, none of our luggage has ever gone missing. Not once, knock on wood, because now it's probably gonna happen. But I'm, I'm ready, I'm prepared. Now we'll talk about foundation. This is, I'm, I have been procrastinating doing this like we're literally leaving in like a couple of days and I have not even today's the first time I've even attempted to find the makeup that I want to bring because it just felt so overwhelming so my favorite foundation is the Lisa Eldridge I am going to bring this because I love it so much and I can't bear to leave her home 
But I'm also going to bring my CoverGirl Outlast. This is a shade that works for me now, as well as Lisa Eldridge. And then I'm going to bring my RCMA makeup and my Born This Way. Both of these are much darker and more my summer shades, not like super summer shades when I'm very, very tan. Uh, but I feel like these will work, and if they're still a bit light, I can use bronzer to fake it. We'll be outside hopefully all day, every day, and even though I have 50 SPF, I'm still going to get tan. So I'm also bringing a darker concealer, which will, you know, looks crazy now, but will, or at least should work uh, in a few days. And I'm going to bring my Born to Glow, which I wore a lot last summer. I'm going to bring two brow gels, my NYX uh, Thick It Stick It and my e.l.f. Brow Wow, because I love both of these. And my brand new Rare Beauty Mascara, the full size, the big girl she's coming with. And here's where I really throttled back. I practice so much self-control that I am afraid it's going to come back and bite me in the butt. But hopefully it won't. I'm going to bring my Jaclyn Hill Winter Sun Palette, which has two highlight options and that nice, like, peachy coral blush. I'm going to bring my Glowish uh, blush in the shade Caring Coral, which is ironically what I'm wearing today. I think it looks nice. And this builds up nicely, so I should be able to get away with it when my face is... My face will still be white with darker foundation. I'm, of course, bringing the Danessa Myricks blush palette. I love this thing so much. I'm desperately hoping nothing happens to this while we're traveling because that would break my heart and I'd have to replace it and it wasn't cheap. I had already decided that I would be bringing my Jouer bronzer with the shades Sunkissed and Sunset because both shades will work for me now and when I'm much tanner. I love, love, love this bronzer duo. And then I chose two like more fun highlighters. I thought if I end up doing some funky makeup, then maybe I would want a bit of something fun on my for my highlight. So I chose both of these Be Perfect highlighters. It's the Be Perfect Get Wet Stacy Marie. And this one is in the shade Skin Sheen. And this one is in the shade Hollow Glaze. And they both have a shift to them. So I thought these could be fun options. I will, of course, be bringing my Kevin Aquan contour shade with me because I use this every single time I do my makeup, unless I'm doing something other, like all cream or trying out new stuff. That's my go-to. And I'll be bringing both shades of my Dior Powder No Powder. This one, poor broken one, came broken, is my summer shade, and this is my winter shade. So both will come with me. Hopefully both survive the trip. And of course, my Nikia Joy Velvet Finishing Powder. I'm bringing the pressed powder because my loose powder is almost gone. I didn't have enough time to order a new one to bring with me by the time I realized it was almost gone. So this one will actually be traveling in my purse with me because, I mean, where else would I put her? She stays with me where she'll be safe. Last of the Make It Be bits I'm going to talk about is like liners, lipstick, things like that, which I am taking a boatload of. I'm not really going to bring setting powder. Um, I put my makeup on just before dinner at night and I wash it off within a couple of hours. And even with my oily skin, these foundations can handle it. So I'm not going to pack extra weight that we don't need. Um, in case you hadn't picked up on it, we went over our weight once with our luggage and the consequences were like pay $250 or buy this hundred dollar bag that you can move some of your stuff into. So I mean obviously still an extra hundred bucks. Kind of a bummer. So I'm trying to be careful. <laughs> okay this is the only case I'm taking with pencils and lipsticks. She's very very full but I'll show you what I'm bringing in case you care. And if you don't, feel free to nope out here. But I wanted to choose a little bit of everything for lipstick. So I've got two of my NYX Shine Loud Red and a Nude. I really, really like these lipsticks and they wear pretty well even through eating. 
And then I chose a pink, an orangey, a pinkish nude, and then two true nudes. Um, so I can play a little bit. With this one, it alters other lip shades. So that's a fun game for me. I just ran out of the last of my brow pencil that I've been using. So I have two partial ones that I'm gonna bring with me. One is Ulta and one is Maybelline. Both are ones I use all the time. I had stopped using the Maybelline for the other one that I was using, the L'Oreal, um, but that one's gone. So back to the Maybelline. Of course, my lash glue liner, um, black eyeliner and my brown eyeliner because I always wear one of them in my upper waterline to tight line. These are two new discoveries that I'm really liking. I like to pair these with um, my Fenty Gloss Balm, which is also coming. So I'm bringing these with me because this allows me to play a little bit. And I did, uh, I test drove these yesterday to see if I could wear them and eat so I can at least make it through dinner without my lips being a mess. How do people do that? I'm the kind of girl who puts on her makeup and then that's it, I forget about it. I don't look in the mirror, I don't check anything which is why wear time tests are really, really hard. <laughs> but I don't even like reapply lipstick. I mean, I don't leave my house. But how do you leave essentially a restaurant because we'll be on the boat and we'll go to dinner in the main dining room, which is basically a huge restaurant. So what happens if your lipstick gets messed up and then you have to like leave to get to a mirror to fix it or do you fix it at the table? I don't know, if somebody could help me with this stuff, that'd be really good because we don't eat out much at all. And when we do, I've never fixed my lipstick. I should be better about things like that. All right, I'm going to try. See, I'm already prepared and I'm trying. So, all right. So we'll talk about lip liners first. I have six. I have um, a couple of nudes, some browns, a red, an orangey, like a pinky nude. just to cover all of my bases with my lipsticks. And again, you can use lip liner to gently change the shade of your lipstick. And I like to play with makeup, obviously. All right, last but not least, I promise, um, our eyeliners. Try not to judge me. If you've been hanging out with me for a while, you know I really like color in my waterline. So I'm packing all of my LA Girl Shockwave liners because I just don't know what color I'm gonna want. And then I'm packing my Urban Decay Shadow Stick in the shade Buff, which I'm actually wearing today, and I like it a lot. So if I wanna go neutral and low key, I've got nude, brown, and black. But if I wanna have fun, I have lots of color to do that with too. So that is everything I'm planning on bringing with me. There may be some slight adjustments here and there as I go. I may discover I desperately need another eyeshadow palette or two, but I'm really gonna try to keep it at this. I will of course be packing way too many brushes <laughs> and you know sponges and poofs and all of that stuff, but that's kind of boring and nobody really cares. I think that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm sure nothing I talked about was helpful, but maybe it was a little bit fun to see. Anyway, I super appreciate you hanging out with me. Be good and remember to be kind to you.